All right, the most overused word by Royals fans in the last three or four days, I guess, has been bandwagon. Seriously, how many times have you heard one say, oh, I see you're back on the Royals bandwagon now that they're winning all these baseball games. You know, I get a lot of that stuff, and it's all good. I have been chastised for jumping off and on this bandwagon. At the All-Star break, I predicted the Royals were dead in the water. Their season was over. I thought it was. And you know what? If you're truthful with me right now, I'll bet most of you felt the same way. And that's okay. Look, these Royals have the dubious distinction of suffering through the longest playoff drought in all of professional sports. Baseball, football, basketball, hockey, every team, every sport has been to the playoffs since the Royals' last appearance 28 years ago. They had 16 winning seasons in the first 25 years in KC. They've had one in the last 19 been hard to be a baseball fan around here. Let's be honest here, folks. The Chiefs own this city, but there is no question about that. It's still a good baseball town. We suddenly have a team to embrace and be proud of. And I couldn't be happier for Dayton Moore. He deserves some credit here. Here's my greatest fear. It's not that this team is going to crash and burn in the final two months. That will not happen. I have bad dreams at night that this owner will emerge any day now from his bunker in Arkansas, and he will tell us how much he wants to win baseball games. David Glass, where are you? Why won't you talk to us? Why won't you come to our games? The good baseball fans of this city must cling to the memories when Mr. Kaufman would attend nearly every home game and wave to the crowd from the suite behind home plate. He cared about the fans. He loved this city. That's the only way I want to remember any owner of the Kansas City Royals. That's Jack Smack.